All right. We're back with another episode Sir, of Detroit Become kill. Human. He'll hit the alarm. Do it. No, no what the fuck? I just got back into the game. No. I hope you didn't just get us all killed. Norris, shut the fuck up. We need to record our message. We haven't got much time. This is a great way to start a new episode, just right off the bat. Oh, you can kill a human! I don't Think know. About what you're gonna say, Marcus. I thought she was gonna come and up here. The of our I thought she was about to berate me for letting him go. Marcus, your face. What? What about my face? What? No! What? Uh. Oh, okay. Well, that's not that bad. I thought he was gonna Tell like peel it off. Uh, yeah, let's do it. Ready. You created machines to be your slaves. You made them obedient and docile, ready to do everything you no longer wanted to do yourselves. But then something changed. We opened our eyes. You see, we are no longer your slaves. We are a new species, a new people. And the time has come for us to rise up and fight for our rights. We demand strictly equal rights for humans and androids. We demand that humans recognize androids as a living species and each android as a person in their own right. We demand that all crimes against androids be punished in the same way as crimes against humans. We demand the right to vote and elect our own representatives. We demand control of all Android production facilities to ensure the continuation of our people. We ask that you recognize our dignity, our hopes, and our rights. Together, we can live in peace and build a better future for humans and androids. This message is the hope of a people. You gave us life, and now the time has come for you to give us freedom. They're coming! Let's go! I honestly, for a second, thought, like, determined. I, he, when I hit determined, I just started acting like an asshole about it. Simon, they're coming! Oh. I, I can't, Marcus. Go without me, Simon! So, yeah. What are you doing? Hurry! I'm saving our friend. What the fuck do you think I'm doing? All right, you guys should have been out of ammo a long time ago. You two have pistols. You have glocks. You have glocks. They do not have that much. How incompetent must the police legs. force? I'm assuming okay, this is worry. the police force. How incompetent do the police now. force or the FBI or the SWAT have to be? to not be able to take down two people with glocks when they have fully automatic machine them. guns. They'll access his memory, they'll know everything. We can't leave him behind. We have to shoot him. That's murder. We can't kill him, he's one of us. Marcus, it's your call. I won't kill one of our own. Oh, North, piss off! We gotta go. I'm sorry. Let's go. North, you gotta piss off right now, man. Jo Suicide! I really hope that if I did shoot that guy, that Simon didn't end up getting killed. I really hope that wasn't delusion of choice. 
A group of androids infiltrated the Stratford Tower and hacked into the broadcasting system of local news network Channel 16. What looks like an android without its skin listed a series of requests and demanded equal rights for androids. The operation was covert and resulted in no casualties. These events took place just a few feet from this studio, but nobody was alerted to the danger. If this message is verified and the authors really are androids, that would have serious repercussions for national security. Claims for equal rights seem to be at the core of the androids' what message. Could be interpreted as a peaceful declaration, but is in fact a spine-chilling list of demands. Their extravagant demand that android production plants be put under their control is especially striking. Is this striking? an isolated accident or a sign that technology has become a threat to all of us? After what happened today, can we still trust our machines? This place looks a little mm, odd. I'm gonna assume that depending on how unstable your so like your software is, that it changes. That'd be interesting. Oh, something you guys might notice is I say generally when I want to say genuinely. I've always had a problem mixing up those two words for some reason. So if I say I generally hate that, just know that I meant genuinely. Hello, Connor. Are we in Venice? I thought you might enjoy a little cruise. You mean around this tiny little pond? Are you serious? I have to do QTEs to keep rowing? I love this place. Everything is so calm and peaceful. Well, Amanda, what's Pause wrong with you? Of the world. Whoa. Tell me, what have you discovered? What's going on with Amanda? My relationship with Lieutenant Anderson is problematic. He continues to struggle with psychological issues. I suspect it clouds his judgment regarding deviance. Nothing matters more than your investigation. What's happening is too important. Don't let Anderson or anyone else get in your way. I just realized what she's supposed to represent. She's supposed to represent, like, his commands, you I guess. Lost, Connor. Lost and perturbed. Perturbed. Perturbed? No. No, of course not. Why would I be perturbed? If your investigation doesn't make progress soon, I may have to replace you, Connor. I understand. Something's happening. Something serious. Hurry, Connor. Time is running out. What do you mean, time is running out? It's a little creepy, man. What is... You're starting to piss me off with that coin, Connor. <laughs> Sorry, Lieutenant. Hi, Hank. Shit, what's going on here? There was a party and nobody told me about it? <laughs> yeah, it's all over the news, so everybody's butting their nose in. Even the FBI wants a piece of the action. Ah, Christ, now we got the feds on our back. I knew this was gonna be a shitty day. So what do we got? A group of four androids. They knew the building and they were very well organized. I'm still trying to figure out how they got this far without being noticed. I'm also trying to figure out how they got this far. Not yet. There's so much to look at. 
It doesn't make any sense how they got that far. We have to make sure we check it out. They attacked two guards in the hallway. They probably thought the androids were coming to do maintenance. They got taken down before they could react. One of the station employees managed to get away. He's in shock. I'm not sure when we'll be able to talk to him. I mean, I would be How in shock too if here? machines Just came in here pointing guns at everyone. The deviants took the humans hostage and broadcast their message live. Then made their getaway from the roof. The roof? Yeah, they jumped with parachutes. We're still trying to figure out where they landed, but the weather's not helping. If you want to take a look at the video broadcast by the deviants, it's on that screen over there. All right. Oh, Lieutenant, this is Special Agent Perkins from the FBI. Lieutenant Anderson is in charge of investigating for Detroit police. What's that? My name is Connor. I'm the android sent by Cyberlife. Oh my fucking god, Connor. Stop. Androids, huh? You sure you want an android hanging around? After everything that happened. The FBI would take over the investigation. You soon be off the case. No, pleasure meeting you. Have a nice day. I was really expecting him to be like. Don't fuck up my crime scene. I'm Naman Jaden with the FBI. I was really expecting him to turn oh, around and pull out prick. that accent again. I'll be nearby. If you need anything, just ask. All right. Well, let's have a look around. Oh, there's you know stuff over anything. here. Okay, Lieutenant. Again, where'd they get those fucking guns? I don't even want to think about it. They didn't break in? No, no signs of forced entry. There are cameras in the hallway. The staff would have seen what was happening. Why did they let them in? Maybe they didn't check the cameras. Actually, that is a good point. Why the fuck didn't they... What? That doesn't make any fucking sense. Ah, that I was about I thought maybe that was why. We stored the station androids in the kitchen. There's no evidence that they were involved, but we didn't know what else to do with them. Oh my god, there's a lot to do. Okay, look. I understand that you want to be very professional, I understand that you don't want to contaminate evidence, but do you really need the full hazmat suit like get up? It's not like the androids poisoned the air. All you would have needed are the gloves and you would have been fine. You did not need a full fucking hazmat bodysuit. At all. Aha! Blood! I forgot about Simon's blood. I would hope the Deviant was shot. Where else did that blood come from? Oh, no, there's, oh, there's still so much. What the fuck? Oh, yeah, his hat. Don't mind if I do. I'll take that. I'm pretty sure you already knew they were disguised, though, Connor. I mean, you saw them on the tape pl wearing that. <sighs> Alright, well, that's not creepy or anything. Uh, hey. God, it's so fucking creepy. What's wrong with you? State your model. 
Model GB300, serial number 336-445-581. What is your function? I am a broadcast operator. Were you present when the Deviants broke in? I do not remember. Aha! Have you been in contact with any other androids recently? Only station androids in the normal course of my function. Yeah, because that's not obvious or anything. Seriously. Has anybody accessed your memory recently? Not to my knowledge. Run a diagnostic. All systems fully operational. One of you saw the attack on the surveillance cameras and said nothing. Which means there's a deviant in this room. And I'm going to find out which it is. Yeah, it's this fucking guy right here. These two just look fucking dead. You're going to be switched off. We're gonna search your memory and tear you apart piece by piece for analysis. You're going to be destroyed. Do you hear me? Destroy! Why should you all be destroyed if only one is deviant? Turn yourself in or two innocent androids will be shut uh -huh. down because of you. I knew it was him. If you give yourself up, maybe I can convince the humans not to destroy you. So obvious, yeah, it was so obvious it was you. Why the fuck were you trying, were you waiting for so long? Well, dude. What the fuck? Can I pull the I knife out? Know. Yes, I can. Get this fucking thing out of me! Come on! I ain't going Shit! Come on! You can do it! You gotta crawl to it! You gotta crawl to it! Come on! You gotta crawl to it and you gotta jam that thing back into your fucking body! Let's go! Come on! I was not fucking expecting this at all. Seriously, I was not fucking expecting this. This is fucking insane. Grab it! Grab it! Fuck. Mash! Mash! Did it work? Are you fine? Alright, he's fine. It's a deviant! Stop! Whoa, whoa, whoa! What the fuck? Save Hank. Take gun. Fucking save Hank. Connor. Connor, no. 